Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna do a cheat code system. This cheat code system is not gonna be like the last one that I did. The last one I did was a cheat code system, kind of like GTA San Andreas, GTA 3, where you would enter some keys on the keyboard or gamepad and it would, you know, enter your cheat code for you. In this one, what we're gonna do is something like GTA 5 or 4, where there's a cell phone and you will be able to type in a certain number and that number will give you the cheat. So let's get started. So I did create a little cell phone. Now this cell phone I got from the Unity Asset Store. I'll leave a description down below. But I just created this phone with the numbers, keypads, and then it has letters. Then it has this call button on the bottom which will activate the cheat code. Now there's also these ABC uh, letters underneath the numbers which will help us type in some sort of word and activate our cheat code. So now let's just get started. We're first gonna go on our actual cell phone. I'm gonna unpack this because I made this a prefab when I was testing this out, just so it would be quick and I wouldn't have to do this from scratch. Now with that, I'm gonna add a component on the cell phone. It don't really have to be on the cell phone, but I'm gonna do it on the cell phone. I'm just gonna put cell phone handler. We're gonna create it. We're gonna open it up in Visual Studios. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add, well actually it's already added here, so we're just gonna erase the system.collections, but not the collections.generic because we're gonna need it. We're also gonna need using TM Pro because we're all gonna be using the Text Mesh Pro text. So now with all that, we could erase the void and the start and we're going to start adding our variables we're going to have let's start with our serialized field variables the ones that are going to be private but they're still going to be able to be seen in the inspector and we're going to have one called text mesh pro text and that's going to be the phone number text so when you enter the, the phone number it, this is the text that will appear on the screen and then we're also going to have a serialized field and this is where we needed the the list or the system.generic we're going to use a list and that list is going to be filled with well actually you know what before we do the list i think we have to yeah we'll leave this for last i'll show you how to do this one last but we'll just continue we're going to add private bulls these bulls are going to be called we're gonna put one for to see if the number has been entered yet. So number not entered yet. And then last number entered. We'll just leave that all as false. And then we'll have an int to check the number length. That way we can't keep typing a number if we reach a certain length. So there's the number length. And we'll just continue from here. We're gonna add an on enable. So this happens when the game object is enabled. So when this game object is enabled, we're gonna set number length equal to zero. And we're gonna set number not entered yet equal to true. And then with last number entered, it's gonna be equal to false. Then we're just gonna put phone number text dot text. It's gonna be equal to enter number. So every time we, let's say we deactivate and activate the, uh, the object, which we probably would do because it's a cell phone. Every time we do that, the number length is gonna be equal to zero. Number not entered is gonna be true. Last number entered will be equal to false. And phone number text dot text will be will be saying this pretty much enter number so if you had typed a number and you you know uh, deactivated the cell phone and you activate it again this is what it would say now let's keep on going we're going to do one called but this one's going to be a public void it's going to be called type number so the number we're going to put in number and then this is how we're going to be able to type the number with the cell phone so we'll be able to press it with the with the actual cell phone and all we're going to have to do is we're going to check if number not entered yet is equal to true so if they have not entered a number yet just gonna put phone number text dot text it's gonna be equal to just blank so nothing and then we're gonna right after this we're gonna put number not entered yet equals false so the first time this runs it's just gonna send it blank and after that it's just gonna keep sending it to false and it won't do nothing so now we're gonna put if number length is equal to eight so if it's eight digits then we're gonna put last number entered equals true now we're gonna put if number length is less than nine so pretty much eight or less or pretty much eight we're gonna put if number length then we're gonna put this percentage sign which means get the remainder of it divided by two get the remainder if the remainder equals two and last number entered equals false so we'll add exclamation point. So this is not necessary. The only reason I'm doing it is if you want to add dashes between your numbers. So if we go if number length 
No, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> We're gonna put phone number text dot text equals plus equals number dot to string plus the dash. Now, like I said, you don't need to type this in if. You don't want to add a dash between your numbers. Uh, after that, we're just going to put phone number text dot text plus equals number dot to string. So unless it's pretty much the third number. So if it's every other third number, it will add the dash. If not, it will just add the number. After all that, we're just going to increase number length plus plus. So increase it by one and then else return. So if the number length is greater than nine, we're just gonna return and not do nothing else. Now, this is where the cheat code part comes in. So we're gonna add another public void and this is gonna be called enter cheat code. So this is gonna be the call button to see if the cheat code was entered correctly. Now for enter cheat code, we are gonna have to start making our other script. So let's start with that. So we got our cell phone handler, we got it on our cell phone. Now we're gonna add another script. Now this script is gonna be called cheat code data. So this is gonna be, we're gonna make scriptable objects. Scriptable objects are pretty much just scripts that contain data. And that's what we're gonna use it for. So we're gonna put cheat code data. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna erase all this because we're, we're, we don't need none of this. And we're also gonna erase the mono behavior because we also do not need mono behavior, but instead we need scriptable object. And we could erase both of these using Unity Engine. Now we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna add this little attribute called create asset menu and what this does is it creates so let me go over here it creates pretty much one of these and assets from one of these so as you can see there's this asset that i have right here so if i type in file name i'm gonna put equals so this is what the new file name is so every time let's say i go over here go to script let's say i click on signal so when i click signal you see that this file name is called new signal that is that's what pretty much we're gonna create right now. So we're going to create that file name. So we're just going to put new cheat code data or just new cheat code. We'll just put that. And then we're going to add this, this comma right here. And we're going to put menu name is going to be equal to. So the menu name is this right here. If you go over here, this is the, the menu name. So material will be the name, lens flare, scriptable object. All these are menu names. So we're just going to put it under scriptable object, scriptable object and then we could add or like a forward slash and then we could so the forward slash would be like a sub menu so last time if i go over here and see how these have sub menus that would be the forward slash so you see i have that scriptable object now this is where we're going to enter new cheat code so if i go new cheat code save it and now it should just work automatically but first we're going to add our public variables so this one's going to be a public string this is going to be called the cheat code number and then we're also going to make a public game object and this is going to be the object to spawn so the object we're going to spawn later on we will add more data to this but this is good for now now when we go back to our actual cell phone handler we could add our list, the one I was trying to do earlier. So serialize field, add a list. The list is going to be of cheat code data. And we're just going to call it cheat code list. And we're going to make it equal to a new list of cheat code data. And just like that, you add a parenthesis and a semicolon at the end. Now with that all done, we're going to go down here. And actually, where did I need it? Yeah, we're going to go down here and we're going to put for each all together for each. And then you could push tab twice so it could auto complete. And then we're going to put for each cheat code. So this is the variable name. So you could put anything you want. I'm just going to put for each cheat code in the cheat code list. So this is that list we just created right now on top. This one right here. So for each cheat code and cheat code list, it's going to go through all the cheat codes. We're going to see if cheat code, cheat code dot cheat code number dot is equal or equals phone number text dot text. So it's going to check if it is equal to that actual string that we had typed. And then if it is, we're going to instantiate. So we're going to spawn something in. It's going to be the cheat code dot object to spawn. We're going to spawn it at the camera dot main dot transform dot position. So where the exact position of the camera is, but we're going to add an offset. So by the, by doing that, we have to do a new vector. We have to add the new vector three and we go 
zero on the x, zero on the y, and then negative five on the z. So it could appear in front of us. And then we're gonna add another comma and we're gonna get the rotation by putting quaternion dot identity. So we'll keep the same rotation and that would pretty much be it. You could add a debug dot log to see if you enter the cheat code correctly, but with the car spawning or the, the object spawning, it should work. So now when we go back, there's a couple things we got to do. We're going to have to add a new folder or we don't have to add a new folder, but I am and it's going to be called cheat codes. And this is where I'm going to put all the scriptable objects. So now I'm going to go to create object, new cheat code. Now we get this new cheat code scriptable object with the two variables we had created. And all I'm going to do is put spawn muscle car and for it to spawn muscle car, the number we're going to have to enter would be spawn. So seven, seven, two, nine six but if we see this is not long enough we want an eight digit number so i'm just gonna put 2023 20, so the year and then the the cheat code so it's seven seven two nine six and now we're just gonna add the game object we want to spawn so i got some assets from the asset store i'll leave it a link down below but it comes with some cars you can find it and i'm gonna spawn in this muscle car actually i gotta go back lock this and then look for it i'm gonna spawn in let's say this muscle car and then let's actually make another one we're gonna put spawn you name it spawn uh, ice cream truck and then with that one we will spawn an ice cream truck so let me just set this up now for that ice cream truck we'll leave the same the same code but for the for the muscle car we're gonna type in two zero two three fancy so it's gonna be three two six two nine so so it's gonna be three two six two nine make sure you type everything correctly if not you will have a hard time figuring out why it's not working now once that is all done there's one last thing or well, a couple last things we got to do first we got to drag in our phone number text another thing we got to lock our inspector drag these our cheat codes in however many cheat codes you have doesn't matter what order then we got to go to our call button so this is the call button we're gonna drag in our cell phone because that's where we have our script for our cell phone handler and we're just gonna put enter cheat code on the number pad layout what we got to do is we actually got to go through each number so one all that and we got to go to the actual button and add our cell phone again so we could get the cell phone handler script and we will just put type number. The number we want to type for this one is going to be one. Now I'm going to do this for every single one except for this one and this one because this should be the star and the number. So now I'm just going to drag this all into all of them. Go to cell phone handler, put type number in, and then I'm going to have to go one by one and type in the number. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. And it was already typed in for me. So perfect. It won't be for you. It's just since I have been testing this out, it had remembered my values from before. So now when I just hit play and everything should work, let's test this out. So let's go to our muscle car. Now the cheat was 20, 23, 7, 7, 2, 9, 6. Now nothing's going to spawn because for it to spawn, we have to push call and then it should spawn. It did not. So let's check it out. Let's make sure everything is the same. There's 77, 296, call. Okay, now I remember what the problem is. We have to actually enter the dashes between each three numbers because it's trying to see if it is equal. So for it to be equal, it has to be exactly the same. So just add those three numbers. Now it should work. Hopefully I am not wrong. Now let's try the muscle car. So two, zero, two, three, seven, seven, two, nine, six, call. We got our muscle car. Now let's try our ice cream truck. Now, as you can see, it did not reset. So what you could do is over here, once the cheat code is entered, you would pretty much just copy this right here and paste it and that should work. And it might not work here because of we're still in play mode, but it resetted that part for me. So let's try it again, 20, 23, and it's three, two, six, two, nine. I'm gonna hit call, we get our ice cream. And as you can see, it reset it, the number. Now you could also do it, instead of that, you could have enter number. So we'll go back to allowing you to enter the number. Let's try it one more time so you guys can see what it displays. 
after the cheat code has been entered. So as you can see, it says enter number again. Now, let's say I had rotated, say like I'm a player and I moved around like, let's say this way. Now when I enter it, so as you can see, it does rot uh, it does spawn on this side and not in front of me. So if you were doing this, I'll show you guys later when I implement it into the GTA Lite game, but this would pretty much be the code you would have to change, especially this one right here. So instead of doing camera.main, you would probably want to get the player's position and then add an offset. But like I said, I'll show you guys in a later video how to do that. Uh, but for now, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If there is anything I missed, if you guys want to know anything else about this cheat code system, let me know in the comments below. If you guys think I missed anything, there's also this part right here that I did actually miss. So let's say I entered a number, I turn off my cell phone, turn it back on, it gives me that enter number. My number has been erased and everything. Now that is because of that on enable that I told you. So on enable, it will do this. So if you don't want it, if you wanted to keep your number, you would just have to erase this whole line of code. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this video, yeah, this video got to be a little too long, but Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully, hope you got. Hopefully you guys learned something and got something from this video. Like I said, if you guys need any help, leave a comment down below. If you guys uh, like this video, appreciate if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, I will be making more GTA like videos. So hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Once again, thank you guys.